What's up, MMA fans? It's Tudor Levante from Short Dog here, and today I'm with former Bellator MMA Bantamweight champion, Darian Colwell. Hello, Darian, and welcome back on Short Dog. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm feeling good, man. Um, so, listen, let's talk right straight away about your upcoming fight. You are scheduled to clash again with uh, Leandro Higo. Uh, at Bellator uh, 259, um, your first uh, your first fight uh, went down in March um, 2018 uh, when you submitted him with ease in the opening round uh, of your clash. Uh, do you expect to, to face you know the, the same uh, fighter you you already fought uh, back then? Uh, I think he's still a scrub. I think I'm still gonna go out there and dog him. You know, but. Obviously, whenever you got uh, a guy that you lost to, you're going to train differently. You're going to be more hungry. You're going to want to, you know, so at the end of the day, he could do what he want to do, but the result is going to be the same. You know, I'm going to finish him when I want to. Um, obviously, at the time you were the champion, he was the challenger. Um, have you watched his fights after uh, meeting him that time? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, again, I still think he's the same guy, you know. Not much, but uh, obviously the more you fight, you know, you're going to build different technique. You're going to mature differently. You know, you're going to, you know, you're going to grow into different patterns. So I do expect a different fight, you know, um, but realistically, I just don't see him fucking with me. Uh, you recently switched camps uh, when you moved to Sanford MMA. Can I ask you uh, the reason why you, you know, for, for this change uh, in your life? Because there's, there's levels to all of this, you know, and uh, I hate to be left behind. Mm. And do, do you feel like right now, you know, I mean, obviously from your answer, I can guess uh, that, but do you believe that right now the, the level of your, I don't know, your, training in general has improved, has moved up? Absolutely. My training's evolved uh, from like a level four or five to like a level 10, you know, it's maxed out, you know, all the pieces are put together, you know, in just a short period of time, um, I'm growing. And so uh, right now uh, you're looking at, um, you're looking at a dollar store, as opposed to a Walmart, you know? So uh, I, 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 start, I start shopping at the Walmart, you know? No more dollar store shopping for me. Um, your, your experience at uh, 155 didn't go as planned, but now that you are back at 135, you know, uh, would you take into consideration moving up again somewhere in the future? Absolutely, you know, uh, my goal is to be a two two division champ. I've always been, you know, a champion in one division. Never been a champion in two divisions, you know. And fighting gives you that opportunity. And so uh, I'm going back down. You know, I, I, I want that title. And next is the 45 pound champion our title. Um, speaking of divisions, uh, a few weeks ago, Bellator debuted debuted its rankings. Uh, I couldn't help help but notice that. You weren't ranked uh, neither at 135 nor at 145. Uh, how did you take it, you know, knowing that some of your former opponents whom you, you defeated uh, were ranked while uh, you were not? Um, at first, I was like, who the fuck does these rankings? Like, where, where am I at? Like, you know, but <laughs> then I realized, like, all right, I'm in limbo stage. I'm kind of in the dark where it's, I'm not a 45er anymore, but I'm not, I've not yet to fight Bantamweight in a time frame where a champion have to vacate his belt if he didn't fight that long. So um, I'm kind of in that weird stage, but um, I think it's a blessing that I, I am getting the opportunity to fight a right guy, you know, just to put that stamp on it, you know? And so uh, <clears throat> it was kind of a whirlwind. It was, it was from here, I was like here, and then I had to be like, oh wait, okay. I haven't done anything at 35 in so long. So what the hell, what am I, uh, mm. what am I uh, thinking about? 
Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry about interrupting you. Um, in case of victory, obviously you expect you know to to, to be ranked at uh, one thirty five, right? Yeah, I mean, I would assume you know. Uh, I mean, it's it's a ranked opponent, you know, and so uh, yeah, we'll go out there, be the ranked opponent. I should be ranked. Um, you you took part in the Bellator MMA featherweight Grand Prix. Um, I would like to ask you uh, your pick uh, between AJ McKee and uh, um, Pitbull Freire uh, in the featherweight, uh, you know, in the Grand Prix finale. I think uh, Pitbull does, uh, he has trouble with um, South Paul guys that are longer and rangier. So I feel like AJ is going to get the win, you know. I think on on a on a grappling aspect, it's going to be a dog fight between the two. They both a good good grappling, but uh, um, yeah, I just feel like he does his he doesn't do his best work against longer southpaws, you know. Um, another another question that I would like to ask you, uh, just in case Bellator MMA uh, wants to go uh, for another crossover event. Uh, with with uh, rising like uh, two years ago, uh, you know, would you be open to to fight again in, uh, in in this event? You know, consider that you are again, you would uh, again uh, compete on a ring. Yeah, if that's what Bellator wants me to do. I'm all for it. Um, I saw some some pictures of you training with uh, Michael Chandler. Uh, have you guys, uh, you know, spar? Uh, have you been sparring, or have you been, uh, you know, have you been helping each other for your upcoming fights? Yeah, no, we haven't spar. Uh, you know, uh, I think it's best not to mix up like what he's he's got going on with his guys, you know. And then we got a bunch of thirty fivers, a bunch of forty five er lighter guy guys around here that prepared me for this camp, you know. But we were side by side training throughout this whole last six weeks, you know, and we both put the, we both put the work in, you know. Sir, before I let you go, uh, do you have any last uh, thoughts? Do you have any last messages? No, I'm just excited to go out there. You know, it's been, been a while since uh, I've been in the cage, so I'm looking forward to going to have some fun. I'm pretty sure your fans are pretty excited, you know, for you returning to uh, competing again. Uh, I wish you best of luck for your upcoming fight and hopefully I'll hear again from you in the future, sir. Thank you, bro. Have a nice one. Bye. Bye.